Now, to find the area of rectangle using algebraic expression, it's just length times width. So you're just multiplying the two sides. x times x, x squared, x times 5, 5x. That's the area of the shape. Again, same thing, multiply the two sides. So all of that is my container for that. And then all of that. So this is expanding brackets. x times x, x squared, x times 1, 1x, one or just x. 3 times x, 3x, three, 3 times 1, 3. Now simplify, you've got x squared by itself, and then you've got 1x plus 3x, like terms, that's 4x, and then you've just got the plus 3 by itself. Right, that is the answer. That was a, a negative number, so let, let me just do one with a negative. Let's say you've got to work out the area of that one then. It doesn't matter which order you put them, you can put the x plus one first, x minus three here. It does not matter which which way you do these. X times x, x squared, x times that's x times positive 1, x times 1 is 1x. One now you've got to be careful about the sign. If it's a negative in front of the number or the letter, it matters. So that's minus 3 times x. Minus 3 times x. Negative times positive. Well, negative wins, so that'll be negative 3x. Then negative 3 times 1, negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Negative 3. Now we need to simplify. So you've got x squared by itself. You've got that x squared by itself. Now you've got 1x, like term 1x, take away 3x. Think about the number line. 1x, take away 3. 1, take away 3. On the number line is minus 2x. And then you've got that minus 3 on the side by itself. Right, so that's the area of this shape. To work at the area of a triangle, it's base, remember the formula? Half times base, this is the base, times the vertical height, which is this bit here. So I'll just do, what I'll do, I'll just do base times height and then I'll halve it. Base times height. That's the base, that's the height. Two x times x, two x squared. Two x times six, twelve x. Four times x, four x. Four times six, twenty-four. Now collect like terms. We well, got two x squared by itself. Right, like terms. Twelve x plus four x, sixteen x, and then you got the plus twenty-four by itself. All I've done is base times height, and now I need to half this. So now half of that, so half of all of that, that's going to be half of 2x squared, half times 2 is 1. That's 1x one squared. You don't need to put the 1 there. You, do, you can just leave it as x squared. Half times 16, right, I'm just doing this. Half times 16x is 8x, and then half times 24 is 12. That's the area of the shape. 